Welcome to the Al Jazari channel. Today's video is brought to you by JLCMC, your one stop shop for high quality mechanical components. Whether you're looking for clamps, fasteners, or other essential tools, JLCMC offers a wide range of products at incredibly cost effective prices. And here's a special treat. New members who register on their website using the link in the description will receive a $60 coupon. Don't miss out. Sign up now and start saving. Hey, tech enthusiasts! Ever wonder how the tiny, powerful chips that drive our gadgets are made? From the smartphone in your pocket to the most advanced supercomputers, it all hinges on integrated circuits, or ICs. Today, I'm taking you on a journey through the fascinating world of IC processing, step by step. First up, what exactly are integrated circuits? Think of them as a collection of electronic devices, transistors, diodes, and resistors crammed onto a small piece of semiconductor material, usually silicon. Since 1959, IC technology has transformed massively, allowing us to miniaturize and enhance efficiency. ICs vary based on their integration level. From small-scale integration, SSI, with just tens of transistors to gigascale integration, GSI, packing billions of devices. So, how are these ICs made? The manufacturing process involves several precise steps. Silicon processing, lithography, layer deposition and doping, etching and metallization, and finally, IC packaging. Let's dive into silicon processing, the foundation of ICs. It all starts with silicon, extracted from sand and purified to an incredible 99.9999% purity. Using the Zokrowski process, we grow a single crystal silicon boule, which is then sliced into thin wafers. These wafers are polished to perfection and doped with elements like boron or phosphorus to create specific electrical properties. Next up is lithography, the blueprint of ICs. Imagine printing a detailed map onto the silicon wafer. A light-sensitive material called photoresist is applied, and UV light shines through a mask, defining intricate circuit patterns. Modern techniques like deep ultraviolet and extreme ultraviolet lithography allow us to achieve nanometer scale precision. Now it's time to build the circuit with layer deposition and doping. Layer by layer, materials are added using processes like thermooxidation chemical vapor deposition, and ion implantation. These layers must be controlled to nanometer scale thicknesses, and doping modifies electrical properties to create conductive and insulating regions. Etching and metallization come next, defining the circuit paths. Plasma etching removes unwanted material, revealing the circuit design. Metallization adds conductive layers, usually aluminum or copper, to form connections between components. Techniques like multi-level metallization and chemical mechanical polishing, CMP, ensure high precision and smooth surfaces. Finally, IC packaging, the last step. The wafer is sliced into individual dyes, bonded to a lead frame, and encapsulated in plastic or ceramic for protection. Advanced methods like flip chip and wafer-level packaging enhance performance and reduce power loss. Quality control and testing are crucial before an IC hits the market. Electrical testing ensures functionality, while environmental stress tests check reliability. Only the best chips are made into your devices. Automated test stations run thousands of diagnostics per second, ensuring top-notch quality. The future of IC technology is bright. With nanotechnology and AI-driven fabrication, the possibilities are endless. New materials like graphene and silicon photonics are being explored, and 3D stacking technology promises even greater computational power in smaller devices. If you found this journey through IC processing fascinating, hit that like button and subscribe for more tech insights. Got questions about ICs? Drop them in the comments below. Before we continue, a quick shout out to our sponsor JLCPC. Let's take a closer look at one of JLCMC's many cost-effective solutions, clamps. On their website, 
you'll find a huge variety of clamps priced at less than $2 each. Whether you're an engineer, DIY enthusiast, or hobbyist, JLCMC makes it easy to find exactly what you need without breaking the bank. Check out their selection using the link in the description. Now that we've seen how microchips are made, let's explore the history of integrated circuits in more detail. The journey began in 1958 when Jack Kilby of Texas Instruments created the first working IC. This invention revolutionized electronics, leading to the development of smaller, more efficient devices. Imagine the world in the late 1950s, with giant vacuum tubes, bulky components, and limited computing power. Kilby's breakthrough was a game-changer. By integrating multiple electronic components into a single piece of semiconductor material, he laid the groundwork for the digital age. Fast forward to the 1970s, the introduction of the microprocessor marked a pivotal milestone. Companies like Intel and AMD developed these tiny powerhouses capable of executing millions of instructions per second. The microprocessor didn't just enhance computing, it enabled the creation of personal computers, video game consoles, and countless other innovations. The 1980s and 90s brought further advancements. Moore's Law, predicting the doubling of transistors on a chip approximately every two years, held true, driving exponential growth and processing power. This era saw the rise of portable devices, from the first mobile phones to early laptops, all powered by increasingly sophisticated ICs. Entering the 21st century, IC technology continues to evolve at a rapid pace. The advent of nanotechnology allows for even greater miniaturization, while AI-driven fabrication techniques push the boundaries of what's possible. New materials like graphene and silicon photonics are being explored, and 3D stacking technology promises to deliver unprecedented computational power in ever smaller devices. From Kilby's initial IC to today's cutting-edge chips, the journey of integrated circuits is a testament to human ingenuity and relentless innovation. Each breakthrough has brought us closer to a future where technology seamlessly integrates into every aspect of our lives. Another fascinating aspect of IC manufacturing is the role of clean rooms. These controlled environments are essential for preventing contamination during the fabrication process. Clean rooms are classified based on the number of particles per cubic meter with Class 1 being the cleanest. In these pristine settings, workers wear special suits known as bunny suits to minimize the introduction of contaminants. These suits cover the entire body, including gloves, masks, and goggles, ensuring that no hair, skin cells, or even breath particles can compromise the delicate ICs being produced. Imagine this, a single speck of dust can ruin an entire batch of microchips. That's why the air in clean rooms is meticulously filtered and recirculated multiple times per hour to maintain an ultra-clean environment. The floors, walls, and ceilings are designed with materials that minimize particle generation and are easy to clean. But it's not just about cleanliness. The temperature and humidity levels are also tightly controlled to ensure optimal conditions for IC fabrication. Even the tiniest fluctuations can affect the quality and performance of the integrated circuits. So, the next time you marvel at the power of your smartphone or computer, remember the unseen world of clean rooms. These high-tech sanctuaries play a pivotal role in bringing the digital wonders of our age to life. And here's an exclusive deal. New members who register on JLCMC's website get a $60 coupon. That's an amazing opportunity to explore their extensive catalog and grab high-quality mechanical components at unbeatable prices. Don't miss out. Sign up today using the link below. If you enjoyed this glimpse into the future of IC technology, please like, share, and subscribe for more forward-looking tech content. Have any thoughts or questions? Drop a comment below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next Tech Frontier.